snow. Go for it. How'd you like the rain today? That was good. Good to get some wet ball in, you know? Preparation for Saturday. Uh, no pre-snap penalties, I believe, on Saturday. Yeah, first one. What did you make of that? victory for me, you know? Uh, what wins that to, to come out with a clean uh, slate, not having any of those pre-snap penalties? On, on uh, it felt good, you know? Uh, obviously, you know, it's a mental fog sometimes and gets in your head, but uh, try not to think about it too much. and. I was fortunate, you know, it took me till week 11 to, to not have that at an away game. Uh, kind of bummed it from that aspect, but um, and obviously first half, O-line's performance uh, came out a little slow, but then felt proud of the group for rallying back second half. Uh, you have a great one, Coach. But yeah. How do you feel like Killian did coming in for you? <laughs> he got himself a little holding call, so it was kind of, uh, we all laughed about it, you know, on Monday, because, uh, he came in and, and held the guy, and we were just—I was just giving him st uh, crap, crap about it, you know. Uh, but he, he was a good spirit. He uh, came in, he did the job. He ID protections right. Um, yeah, just proud of him for, for stepping in there. I know, you know, you're focused on the game, but have you kind of thought about it? You know, being your last time in the Coliseum. Uh, not too much. Try not to think about it. Uh, see what my reaction is after the game either be happy or probably tearing up a little bit so yeah you guys will probably see me crying to be honest so uh i'm excited i'm excited but also sad um day comes by quick you know still remember coming in like day one way back in 2018. So. all right uh in your fourth time against UCLA now well this will be your first time against UCLA what can you uh, kind of tell the youngsters uh, on the whole line about like the robbery game and how to prepare for them yeah, it's just uh, it's one of those one of those games. You know, I feel like every kid has watched every football kid uh, who loves the sport. They watch it growing up. Um, it's just kind of like it's an honor to be in this game. Um, this rivalry is, is something greater than us. Um, it's for all the past alumni for this whole school. It's just kind of like the pride of LA. Uh, so it's just important to, uh, to echo that call to the guys. And I think. You know, most of these kids have played football growing up, and so they, they kind of understand uh, the importance of this game. When you, when you look back at, you know, the offseason and you guys coming in and you guys have some certain expectations, is there something that you can point that maybe surprised you in how the season came along? Anything you guys you would do differently or you feel like the team could have done differently? Um, you know, I'm, I'm one that believes that, you know, everything happens for a reason kind of thing. Um, and it, it was unfortunate how the season turned out. Uh, but, you know, our guys battled, I think, the whole way through. Uh, I'd say even though some of the games didn't turn out the way we wanted, um, we had, we had I don't know, a handful of plays uh, that determined the outcome of our season thus far. So maybe just a focus uh, point. Maybe, you know, could have done a, one or two more walkthroughs or something in the summer. You can always think of that hindsight. Uh, but I'm just proud of this group because um, their spirits are high. Even though our record isn't where it wants to be, um, guys are, are, are still willing to come out here and learn and get better every day um, and, just, and just work on, on trying to be the best version of ourselves. So. Justin, if this is Caleb's last game with USC, what, what do you think he should be remembered for? <laughs> uh, Caleb, you know, he's, he's a... He's a great football player, one hell of a football player. I think everyone knows that. Uh, but he's honestly one of the best dudes off the field. Um, very humble, just a great leader. Uh, from day one when he came in here last year, uh, he stepped in and started leading right away. And I was like, what the hell? Like, I wasn't like upset, but it was just it was just his presence, like his voice, like what he said really meant something. Um, and everyone respected him from day one. So it's just, he has that character. Um, he has an attitude that just you have respect for, uh, that you want to play for, and just I think who he is off the field, you know, is, is something that um, I will remember for the rest of my life. Knowing him, how you, knowing him how you do, do you think there is any sort of chance that he could come back? I mean, a lot of people think um, he could be the number one pick. You know, I don't, I don't know. Uh, we don't really talk too much about any of that stuff. Uh, we're just trying to focus on our games right now. I sit next to him in the plane, and all we talk about is, is what plays we could have done better for this team, how we can lead these guys better. So that's the majority of our conversations. I don't know what he's going to do. That's up to him ultimately. 
Um, but it's been an honor to play with him these last two seasons. Do you have to get some shots in at him before he's gone? Oh, all the time. <laughs> yeah, he, never, he can never rest, so. Thank you, Dustin. Awesome. Thank you, guys.